Gaming Vault presents 15 Awful Gaming Habits You Did But Regretted Doing Them Later. We all have weird, sometimes awkward habits when we're gaming. Usually it's nothing major, like picking your nose, but other times it gets to be so big a problem you end up regretting it later. Here's our list of 15 awkward habits you always feel embarrassed about later. Blaming your teammates in online games. You fire up Call of Duty or League of Legends for an online match, and what happens? You play poorly and your team loses. So what do you do? Well, you blame your team, of course. It wasn't your fault, not this time. It was your sniper for camping in the back and not doing anything. Or your medic focusing more on attack instead of healing you. So you yell into the mic that your team sucks and rage quit. Say you're only going to play for an hour, but play for hours even when you have a personal emergency. Have you ever told yourself, one more hour, then looked up at the clock at what felt like only 5 minutes later and realized it's suddenly 4 o'clock in the morning? You realize you're up too late, you have a test tomorrow or a busy day at work, but you just don't care and keep playing anyway. Maybe you really need to use the bathroom, but you're just too absorbed in the game. Or maybe worse yet, you need to visit your sick friend at the hospital or your mom locked herself out of the house again and is waiting for you to swing by with a spare key. Argue about which console is better. Fanboys are amazing. Revolving your whole life around a box in a company that doesn't care about you is pretty sad. Most of us aren't really like that, but every so often we let our inner fanboy out and argue with someone about which console is actually the best. You list out all the best games, you come up with silly excuses, and before you know it you're screaming like a kid and everyone is laughing at you. Root for a game to fail. There are some developers out there we don't like, or some genre or franchise like Call of Duty that everyone seems to hate. Usually when this happens, we secretly, or not so secretly, hope that they fail. Maybe sell 100,000 instead of the usual millions as is always the case with the latest Call of Duty. It's silly, and we know it, but you can't help but think, maybe if this game I don't like fails, we'll get something better. Save scumming. You're playing a difficult game, and instead of taking a break or lowering the difficulty, you instead save every couple of minutes, or every few feet in the worst examples. This is called save scumming, and we've all done it from time to time. It defeats the purpose of the game and is practically cheating, but we just don't care after getting killed by the same boss five times in a row. Quit on a game after 30 minutes and never play it again. If you buy games frequently, you probably don't have enough hours in the day to play them. Sometimes you'll get a game and give up on it in 30 minutes or less. This can especially be a problem during the Steam Summer Sale, when sometimes you'll buy a game and never play it at all. I've been staring at Papers, Please in my Steam library for years without putting a single minute into it. Buy a game and not play it for months afterward. This is another thing we do. You buy a game, then leave it on a shelf or next to your TV and forget about it for months. The same thing happened with my copy of Alien Isolation. It just sat there collecting dust. Whenever you do have the free time, you look at it and tell yourself you'll play it some other time. But some other time doesn't come until months later. Then when you finally do play it, you either beat yourself up for not playing it sooner, or you pull a number 6. Overhype a game only to be disappointed in even good games. It's not always entirely our fault when we get hyped up for games. The marketing machine of the AAA industry can sometimes spend just as much money on marketing a game as they did making it, so it should come as no surprise that sometimes we fall victim to hype. Then when we finally do get the game in our hands, it's just kinda... meh. Even with decent games like Titanfall, we were so hyped up that even good can't meet our high expectations. Wasting limited ammo just to try rare guns. This happens all the time in RPGs. You finally get a cool, rare, ultra-powerful weapon you've been waiting for for ages. Then when you finally get it, you realize ammo for it is scarce, and you only have a few shots for it. So what do you do? You immediately fire those bullets into the nearest dead enemy or at a wall just for the sake of trying the weapon out. And then all of a sudden, you don't have any ammo left to actually use it. Killed an NPC only to later realize they were crucial to a quest. Games that let you do whatever you want are great, but sometimes you can get drunk on power. Like in early Fallout or Elder Scrolls games. You run around on a killing spree and shoot up a town full of people, only to later learn you needed someone there for a quest. Now that person is lying in a pool full of blood and you've got no way of continuing forward, short of reloading a save from 10 plus hours ago. Going through a ton of effort for an item you'll never use. Bosses in hard to reach areas always have the best loot. We sometimes go through a ton of effort to get that loot, whether it be a rare gun, with no ammo etc, or some piece of armor. 
Then when we finally get it, we like it, but we just never get around to using it. We put it in our inventory and never touch it until we forget we ever cared about it hours later, and probably sell it to some vendor for half its worth. Not clearing your inventory. Or on the other hand, we keep that item for the entire game because we might need it later. Think of how many times you say that. Take Fallout 4 for instance. You're probably carrying around hundreds of pounds of guns, armor, and food you haven't used since the start of the game. But you don't want to get rid of it because you think a tough enemy near the end of the game is going to go down to that half-broken pistol you have with three bullets. Forgetting to use your level ups. Speaking of Fallout 4, Bethesda has started allowing you to use your level ups whenever you want. In Skyrim and Fallout 4, they always let you know you've leveled up, and they constantly flash the fact that you can use your skill points in the top corner of the screen. But either out of forgetfulness by ignoring these messages, or just sheer laziness, you don't do it. One more dungeon, you say to yourself, and after three dungeons you've earned another level up and you still don't get to it. Not putting enough time and character development and struggling later. Sometimes when you get a new game, you just want to plow ahead and get into it, but this isn't always the best idea. Like in the Souls series, where you're encouraged to grind up levels early so you'll be tough enough against later enemies. But you don't want to fight skeletons or rats or whatever else, so you go against the brick wall of the storyline, getting killed over and over again late in the game because you're severely below the level you're supposed to be at. All of a sudden, you're regretting your decision. Spending all your time, trophy, or achievement hunting. Every so often you'll get a game just for the sake of getting trophies, or you'll not like another game but keep playing anyway just to get more achievements. We've all been there, but sometimes you'll be playing a good or even great game and just get lost in trophy or achievement hunting, and forget what the game itself has to offer. There's a whole world in there, but you're so busy trying to kill 30 enemies with a knife, or collecting 100 trading cards, you completely miss it. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.